Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder LP of Might and Magic 1. Now, over the past couple few weeks, I've been doing some research on Might and Magic 1, just looking for ways to make it a better LP, a smoother LP. It's gonna be gnarly, folks. There is no true point A to point B walkthrough out there. It's not even really possible for a game as open-ended and as non-linear as the Might and Magic series. Uh, the Might and Magic earlier series was much, much harder. Much more uh, ambiguous on where to go, what to do. In fact, you're given absolutely no hints or no clues in the manual on what to do except to find the inner sanctum. Besides that, you are on your own. No direction pointing. Even the later Might and Magic's uh, Dark Side Zine, Cloud Zine, uh, and you know six, seven, and eight had a lot more linear type direction in them than, than especially this one, Might and Magic One, which really there's no documentation. There are maps out there which I found, but I wanted to show you something. These are my maps that I used that I created when I was a little bastard. And this is what I'm going to be playing the game with, my shit, that I created. Just going over a few of the maps here, this is the actual graph paper that shipped with the original game when you bought it. Uh, and you could, of course, jot it, you have your areas for keys, notes, things like that. Here's the town of Erlequin. And I mean, I have... I have these maps for pretty much every area. I'm missing, missing a few. I think there's, if you map every area, you're looking at about 50, 51 of these maps. So, but I made sure to get the towns and the important areas. Anyways, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna be trudging through it here quite often. Uh, I've been thinking about this a lot. It's not gonna be a pretty smooth LP like you're used to on a lot of mine. This is going to be more along the lines of a lot of these other LPs you see out there that we consider to be blind. Uh, because even with these maps, we're talking, you know, 20 plus years here and I don't really remember shit. And again, there is no walkthrough out there that says, go here now, do this, go here now, do this. Which after I beat a game, I don't mind using to record to make a smooth LP. As long as I beat it myself. I don't give a shit. In this case, you're just gonna have to kind of bear with me. There's gonna be lots of death, dying, confusion, not going the right way. If you guys have any links or any uh, recommendations, I mean, I even have the damn scanned guide here for the game. I have the actual hit book for the game. Let me bring this up. I'm not sure if I showed this to you. Let me get this within view. Because I want to show you how ambiguous they leave this shit. Alright, this is a PDF format. Welcome, towns, maps, blah blah blah. You get a blank map, doesn't tell you where shit is. So you basically I can print these out. And then here's a description. This is all you get here, as far as information based on the town. It doesn't tell you where to go, what to do, what's here, what's here. You can print these maps out, I guess, if you want. I don't actually own this original hint book. I had to find this PDF document. I do need to get this hint book, though, to finish my Might and Magic Clue Book collection. It's the only one I'm missing. Uh, again, here's all the towns, and then you get a small little paragraph on kind of what's going on there. Not very helpful. Here's the caves. Again, nothing. I mean, they, they completely left it up to you, even in the clue book, to figure it out. Clue books nowadays would have all that filled out. Outdoor regions. You know, you'd have monster here, monster here, go here, do this. None of that shit. You get some ambiguous fucking arrows pointing in and out, I guess, entrance, entryways. They, they show you where the doors are. That's about it. So we have all these maps here in the clue book. Castles. 
I mean, this game is epically long, too. We're probably looking at a 40, 50 hour game easy. That's, you know. We got some tips and tati tactics here at the end. I read them, not very, not very helpful. I mean, they give you little clues on certain quests, but nothing is laid out in stone with this. Now, here's some specific coordinates if we get lost, or if we're looking for something particular, but still, I'm gonna have to, you know, dig up my map to B2, and then pinpoint all these latitude, longitude type coordinates. Which means a lot of pausing with the camera. No one wants to sit here and look at the same screen while I'm thumbing through maps and shit. So a lot of planning is gonna need to go into doing this LP and making it fun to watch. That's basically what I'm getting at here. We got the item list here. This will be helpful. You know, this is probably the most helpful thing out of the clue book is, you know, short sword plus two, who can use it, what kind of damage it does, what it's worth. That's really going to be the most important thing I get out of that. So anyways, just wanted to give you a heads up because a lot of you are used to me kind of rolling through and, and whooping the shit out of LPs because, you know, I'm either a lot for, more familiar with the RPG itself you know, it hasn't been as long. I mean, this is one of the earliest RPGs for the PC. You know, this came out during the early Ultima 1 days, the early uh, Wizardry 1, that era. This, I never played it on Nintendo. I played it on the original PC, so this is, this is kind of new for me. Anyways, let's uh, get on with it. Last time we left, and this is another thing I, I find interesting that I didn't quite remember was... Light spells only last for one square. Now there is a lasting light spell that you get, which lasts 20 squares. So basically, we're expected to go through these dungeons in the dark. That, that's, that's the only conclusion I could come up with. I haven't played it so long I forgot how to go down the fucking stairs. Ah! Like I said, it's gonna be interesting. So yeah, this is pretty much, I guess, what we're looking at. That's good. Level 2 spell doing one point of damage. That is what I'm talking about. Can we kill him? Oh yeah, now it's doing 10. I hate the randomness of the shit. We're fighting flesh eaters, vampire bats, mutant larvae. <laughs> I mean, the list goes on and on. It's just ridiculous, folks. At least only three can come up at a time. Taking the vampire bats out, don't need them sucking my blood, among other things. I'm not gonna waste any more magic on these mutant larvae. like a little green cum drizzle. Good 
this is probably going to be one of those games that I work on over the period of the entire rest of the year. I won't be surprised if I finish this by 2013. I definitely am not going to have this finished in time for Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, which I will immediately start working on. But I will at least try to upload a few videos a week of this, just to keep it in check. So if I go too, too long without doing it, I'm just going to give up. That's not an option. Alright, so, one of our first quests is down here in the caverns. We're looking for some old man who's going to give us a scroll. Now, I have him marked on my map. The problem is, is I don't remember how to get to him. Controller, man. Oh, great. Now they're stealing food. These battles take a long time. I mean, they just throw so much shit at you at once. Try to narrate slash commentate as much as possible just so we don't both die of boredom. Yet again, of course. I'm here worried that it's going to do one hit point of damage and it does enough to kill the Gremlin. Alright, now that we got those food stealing bastards out of the way. We have one of the mutant larvae out of commission. Hopefully I'm killing the right other two. You always want to go for the sure kill. See, that was a that was a lot better chance of the kill. It was right in between the two different larvae, so now Malice should get her turn and be able to take out the final larvae here. I'm ready to, I'm ready to freaking rest up and shit. Here. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get down there. I need some kind of key, maybe. I know. Oh, yeah. Well, 
I know the door we need to go through is... Locked on here. Oh, looks like we busted through it. That's good. Uh, my party's all fucked up. Took out that nine hit point gremlin like a mofo. Got guardsmen too? What the hell? Better check out our hit points here. Gonna go for a pain spell. Try to kill this gremlin. Fail! Epic fail! Now guardsmen are lighting us up with arrows. The minimum they can do is two points of damage. How many guardsmen are we fighting here? We're gonna fucking die. This is fucking ridiculous, man. I can't shoot guys in the back, but they can shoot my guys in the back. That's bullshit. Stronger in the back. I'm gonna actually have to leave and go heal. Or at least rest down here and hope that I can make it. Alright, so what we want to do is uh, camp. Hope we don't get an encounter. Phew. Oh, that's great. All the fucking food is stolen. Also blinded, that's nice. What we're gonna do is now that we're through this door here, 
need to fix that blind. So that plus means next to her name is that she's got some kind of affliction. they do. Luckily we got these flesh eaters. Now according to my map that I have here, we're going to be dealing with four sets of monsters. Uh, Non-random. They're basically stationed there. Looks like we're all up front. This is a everyone melee attack. Yeah, I'd say he's going down lucky if I can get to the scroll in this video. Alright. Encounter. The whole surprise thing is bullshit. And if they got surprised, how come I'm attacking first? It's a good question, isn't it? mages are up front, so they're getting to attack with their little daggers. Getting rid of some of these smaller hit-pointed monsters. Missed! That sucks. RPGs, they love their slimes. Or mutant larvae in this case. Critical hit, alright, you almost killed him. We'll let Rizip finish him up. Alright, let's continue on ahead! One more step in another encounter! Oh, they surprised me, of course! Getting a little bit stronger here now. Some skeletons. Luckily, there's not too many. Nice! Barely killed them, but we'll take it. Two magic users just uh, battling here, and then the cleric follows up with the the slaughterous kill. I uh, love well, malice. Go ahead and be safe and kill the five. I know Lug Lug can take out the eight. And the amount of hit points they have has nothing to do with how much damage they're doing. A one hit point skeleton can hit harder than a an 8 hit point skeleton. So it's always better safe than sorry with this game. After this we have one more battle. I'm gonna try to go straight for the scroll. 
and get the hell out of this dungeon. When I get a little bit stronger, we might come back in here and show you more of it. But until then... Alright. Oh, well, at least the monsters weren't crazy difficult. Now, I was wandering around this dungeon a little bit before I started shooting on the camera. <laughs> I was finding other fights in the dungeon, deeper in the dungeon, that... I swear to God, one, one fucking creature hit me for 255 damage. I mean, it was game fucking over. So, while this, these, this portion of the dungeon and these monsters seem, you know, relatively simple, no. You go a little deeper in this dungeon and things get ridiculous. There's portals to another uh, underground layer here. Um, but as far as treasure and things to do here for now, uh, we're just going to stick with... We're just going to stick with the basics. And what I'm going to do is as we clear sections, I'm going to uh, bring up a uh, redone map version, a modern 2012 map of where everything is and what we've encountered together. Kind of like a, a diary or a journal, if you will. An elderly man behind a desk speaks. I am in need of a courier service. Are you interested? And I hit the wrong button. Good. Take this scroll to the wizard Agar and early Quinn. All right. So there you go. That's our first quest that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Alright, now it's time to go heal, grab some food, yaddy yaddy yaddy. Let me dig up my map, shouldn't take me real quick, of Sorpagal. There we go. save our game here. Thank you, come again. Where's our food guy? Would you like to buy some food? Sure, Ben Franklin looking motherfucker. Alright, and I'm just gonna divide this food up. That's not good. Um. I'm, st 
still don't get what the difference is of these damn cure spells. I got cure one, cure three. I think I gotta go see the. Uh, I don't have cure poison yet. I got protection from poison. But I don't have cure poison. So, let's head to the temple and get rid of that. That's definitely no bueno. Do you seek our help? Pay ten gold. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can venture around here a little bit more and just hit level four just to be safe. So I'm not gonna make you watch the grinding experience. I think I can tell you, you want to do is cast armor. I think that works for the whole party and helps keep us protected. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. See you next time with some more Might and Magic. The Inner Sanctum!